All right, Virat Kohli is currently holding a press conference in Nagpur. Let's cut across to that. The oppositions do not um, matter for us so much uh, at this stage. Obviously, we need to understand the strengths and weaknesses of the opposition players, but uh, it's more to do with the way we have played and continue the same way um, and probably try to execute the same things that we have done, which has got us success. Yeah, uh, Virat, you have played a lot of bilateral events, especially T20, one years, World Cup, part of a winning team in 2011. But when the ICC event comes around, uh, what does it tell you, the Indian players, the mindset of the team, does it change and tell you that you have to win this? Well, it's obviously it's a big event. Um, the whole feel and, and uh, the vibe is different uh, from a bilateral series. Uh, we all have experienced that before, uh, so it's nothing new. Um, I think the key is to um, learn from the past where you know calmness is required in big tournaments like the ICC events um, because you can get uh, sort of carried away or over anxious or over excited uh, you know both those feelings are not not great for any side going into big tournaments so um, the learnings that we have from playing in these big events in the past is just to stay as calm as possible and as I said focus on on skills that need to be executed on the field. Uh, there can be a lot of, uh, you know, uh, focus shifting uh, in terms of watching other oppositions play um, on rest days and, you know, stuff like that. So it's very important to stay away from all those things, focus on what the team is doing, you know, not focus on whether someone's going to lose or win for your team to go through. Those sort of things can be big distractions which people do not understand. Uh, once you get involved in watching a game, you can actually be so involved that you forget to, what, uh, forget to do what you have to do for your preparation. So... I think there has to be a, a good balance between everything. Um, so I think awareness counts uh, big time in big tournaments. So so does calmness. I also request all the photographers who are seeing pictures, please don't use flash while someone is answering. Question from Kash, question question. Uh, just a uh, slight extension of that. Uh, the fact that so many of you have uh, been part of the 2011 World Cup, which was also held in India. Obviously, the Indian team, there's huge pressure to win when they play anywhere, but especially at home. So, uh, how much of a uh, confidence building factor is that that you have been there in that position then that you can learn from that experience when you play now? Well, it, uh, it obviously helps knowing that we, um, you know, we were able to come through in a, in a longer format of the game. Um, so, your, your skill levels, your concentration levels, um, everything is tested for much more than a 2020 game. So, we... we got over that hurdle in the 50 over format which was a major hurdle honestly um, for me first time to be the youngest in the team and experience that kind of pressure uh, I mean obviously I didn't feel it so much because I was a youngster finding my feet and, and you know uh, trying to contribute for the team uh, as much as I can but I saw the senior players you know the way people expected things out of them and, and everywhere they would get advice and, and suggestions and expectations and you know prayers so I think you have to soak all of that in. Um, it's very difficult to ignore each and every thing that's been said to you or, or people that actually genuinely come up to you and say, you know, we really want you to win the World Cup. So um, at home, we expect that. At home, we're sort of prepared for that. Um, again, it's, it's a skill of, I think all these major events are a skill. Uh, the skill required is, is how you manage yourself off the field. Because on the field is probably the, the safest and the, and the quietest place for you, um, you know, especially playing in your home country. So um, the field is actually a getaway. Uh, it's the, the place where you face the least pressure uh, in big tournaments like these. So there you have a chance to express yourself. Um, but the key will be how we manage ourselves away from the ground, as I said in, in my previous answer as well. And um, that requires a collective effort of everyone. You know, no one can afford to drift away and sort of focus on the plans that other oppositions are making uh, throughout the tournament. It's important to focus on what we have to do. Uh, Virat, do you think the comeback of Mohamed Shami has kind of displaced the team ahead of this first game? I mean, a lot of the think tank will, all, will scratch their brains. I mean, who to drop or who, if they want to take in Mohamed Shami? Well, I think, um, you know, obviously he's, he's, when he was playing regularly for the, for the team, he's done really well for us. Uh, he's one guy who's, who's, you know, gotten us wickets with the new ball, who attacked the batsman uh, everywhere he played. So, uh, a bowler like that is always a plus in the squad. We were all waiting for him to get fit and come back and find his rhythm. He's done that. He's come back. You know, he's finding his rhythm. He's, he's bowled well in the, in the warm-up games. Um, and he's looking good. I mean, he'll only get stronger and stronger. 
I cannot comment on the composition um, or the combination of the squad. It's very difficult to to try and change something which has won you so many games. But uh, you know, different conditions require different sort of combinations, and um, it's up to the captain and the management to sit down and figure out what needs to be done. We're just glad to have him back in the squad. Um, uh, you know, not meaning that because he's come back, we'll have to change the combination too much. Um, it might or might not, but uh, having him back and, and getting stronger for the Indian cricket team is, is a very good sign. I think last five questions. Karthik, Sanjeev, Leroux, in English, and Tony Hindi, we know that's the run the label. I'll start with Karthik. Yeah, Virat. Um, over the Asia Cup, uh, and also the warm-up game you played, the middle order seems to be kind of slowly finding its feet and you've not had as many opportunities to bat over the last few games as well. So, uh, how important is it that they all seem they all seem to be firing ahead of the tournament and also how, how do, as a batsman who's not getting as much time in the middle, how do you kind of like stay in that, uh, you know, the, keep that intensity up so that when you're there you you can contribute? Uh, well, it's it's tough. I mean, I can totally understand, you know, because I batted three, it's, it's, um, I have much more opportunity than, than some other people in the side. And I consider all those things uh, before, you know, people make comparisons of runs being scored or who has had an impact in the tournament. Because if you're not getting to play as many balls, obviously you won't score as many runs. So, you know, we all, we all sort of respect that among the, amongst each other. We, we do not try to, uh, you know, uh, neglect anyone. Uh, we do not focus on two, three people only. Our focus is on, on the whole batting order and um, it is difficult but you know the, it, it requires that sense of, of team bonding uh, where people say that I'm happy to contribute for the team. Uh, you know whatever stage I go into the game with. Uh, it's very easy to get desperate and wanting to perform yourself and, and you know get some runs under the belt. Uh, in, in that course you start getting desperate or disappointed if you get out a couple of times just because you had seven, eight balls to face. Uh, I think the feeling that has to creep into win major tournaments is that I'm happy to contribute even seven, eight runs in three balls if my team requires me to do so. That could be a bigger impact than a guy scoring 80 and slowing down in the end. You know, a guy coming in and playing a cameo of five, six balls for 15, 20 runs could be the difference. So I think that sort of mindset helps in, in staying in the, in the zone uh, when, you, when you get the opportunity if and whenever. But, uh, you know, yeah, as we've seen, the middle order hasn't had so much of a chance um, to bat in too many games. But the warm-up games, everyone got decent opportunity. Um, even in the last game, MS and UV uh, stepped in together, needing 60 out of, of four overs, almost got there. So I think that, that those sort of things can change the mindset. You know, you just need a couple of strokes in cricket to change your mindset and, and be in the zone again. So um, everyone's looking good. Everyone wants to contribute at whatever um, stage of the game they go in and whatever opportunity they get, which is, I think, uh, the most important thing. The group, the top order has been like uh, uh, playing beautifully. So, how do you three, you uh, Rohit and Dhawan, uh, complement each other in terms of the batting style as well as the understanding? Well, um, you know, as, as, as Shikhar has himself uh, mentioned, his role is pretty clear to uh, go out there and, and play his natural game. Um, you know, try to take on the the first six overs and, and take on the fielding restrictions. Rohit again, um, you know, me and him sort of think on the same lines of, of assessing the situation and and seeing where your partner is going or what's what's he playing like, who's hitting the ball better. So I think it's I uh, we have been able to um, bring in awareness when we have batted in the first 10, 12 overs, which obviously helps the side build totals or chase totals down because you need to be aware of what's happening, how the other guy is hitting the ball, whether you need to take a backward step or you need to uh, sort of go out there and dominate. Um, it's very important to to stay aware um, in uh, a T20 game because you can you can tend to sort of have a rush of blood and and go for a big shot and the team might totally go down the slide from there on. So I think it's very important to be aware every ball and that's something that all three of us collectively have been able to do well in the past uh, few series that we have played. Obviously, it'll be an added responsibility again to continue the same. As I said, the middle order hasn't gotten um, too much of an opportunity. So it's our responsibility to keep that momentum going um, and set up that base for the team or play, probably chase totals down, whatever situation we are in. So I think it's the awareness that we, we have um, sort of um, shown in the middle that has helped us uh, perform consistently in the past few uh, months.